CO, my name is William Lecce. I'm with the Fry Bread Factory. We're out of Tahlequah, Oklahoma. And I'm gonna do a how-to video today, uh, how to make some fry bread. First thing we wanna do, we wanna start with our dry ingredients. And we just wanna take two cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna throw them in this bowl. And it don't have to be perfect. You might have to add a little water, take a little out, or add a little extra flour. Then after you get your flour, you wanna do some, use some uh, baking powder, and uh, you want a tablespoon of your baking powder. And you can always change it up and make it to your liking. Some people like a little more fluffier, some people like a little more flat. Then we wanna take our salt, and we want about a teaspoon of salt. I just use a measure of mine like that. Throw that right in there. I like mine just a little bit, a little saltier, so I put just a hair more. Then we're gonna take all these dry ingredients and we're gonna stir them up. Make sure you get them really stirred up real good. That way you got a real good consistency all the way through. Once you get your dry ingredients, then now we're ready for these wet ingredients. I'm gonna use them 2% milk. You can use whole milk, whatever kind of milk you want and dump that right in there two-thirds of a cup of milk and i'm gonna put also put just a little less than two-thirds of a cup of some warm water and then you get all that and then you mix it up really really good you don't want to overdo it just about as soon as you get it where it's a good paste and you can see this right here that's what we want right there just a real good consistency just about falling off of your spoons really good like that. And once you get this dough done, you want to let the dough set for at least 20 minutes. So you want to pour about, uh, probably about a three quarters of an inch of oil into a pan. And then, of course, you want to just heat it up. We're going to put this dough that we've had setting for 20 minutes into this flour. And you can tell it kind of pulled together and kind of made a nice little ball there. And it's a little more consistent. That's what, when you let it set, it gets a little soft, a little consistent. That's what we're looking for all the time is to keep the consistency. So you want to rub this around in your uh, flour until you, just probably about four times. And then you, then you'll get flour all over it and you'll have a nice soft little ball of dough. I've taken a, approximately about a inch size ball of dough. Then if I want to do Indian tacos, you want to do a little bit bigger size of ball of dough, approximately about a two inch size ball of dough. And it's always nice to let them set for just a second. Go ahead and make your ball. And you can see it's kind of just flattening out by itself. Just barely hit it with your hand Get it to this point right here, about a four inch diameter. And now it looks like our grease is hot. So we're gonna try it out. And so this little dough, this ball of dough, this one inch ball of dough, you pat it out to where it's about a quarter inch thick. And then you just wanna lay it right in there and then it'll take off sizzling. For our Indian taco dough, it's gonna be a little different. We want it to kind of uh, get thin out in the middle. So I'm gonna flop it back and forth a little bit. And we're working it, all this dough out to the, we're working it out to the outside edges. And you can tell that it's kind of thin right there in the middle. And then we'll lay it in there, the grease. And then that'll make a nice little uh, bowl for you. And it'll cup up whenever it hits that hot grease, it'll cup up right in the middle. You want to let the bread cook approximately about two minutes or until it kind of starts getting golden brown on each side. See how pretty that is? We want to flip that over and uh, we're ready to do the other side. And now our Indian taco bread is ready to eat. But you see how I got the nice little uh, cup? And that'll hold your beans and your meat and all your vegetables whenever you make your Indian taco. Whenever 
you're making fry bread, is just take your time. My mom always told me, you ain't never gonna make good food or good fry bread if you're in a hurry. <laughs> so, so take your time and uh, just uh, don't get too worried about anything. You can't mess it up really. Keep working at it. Don't give up on your first try and uh, keep working at it to get the consistency that you like. That's what matters is what you like.